another balloon tutorial. My name is Holly and today I'm going to show you how to make a butterfly. But we're not just going to make one butterfly. I'm going to show you how to make two different butterfly designs so you can pick and choose which one works the best for you in whatever situation you're in. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first butterfly, we're going to start with three balloons and you can add an optional fourth one at the end if you want to add a little something something extra to the butterfly. Um, but the basic butterfly is just three balloons. It is super quick and easy. I could have sworn that I had done a butterfly tutorial before because it's one of the first balloon animals that I teach people. It's so easy. But people have been asking me for butterflies and I was like, you know what? I don't have a butterfly tutorial. So today is your lucky day and I'm going to show you how to make two different butterfly designs. So for this first butterfly, you're going to need three balloons to start with and there's an optional fourth balloon that you can add at the end if you want to give it a little something extra. But to start off with, I've got a yellow balloon that will be for the body. I've blown it up about four pumps. I'm using this balloon which I've blown up almost all the way. I've just left a little tip at the end and then a pink balloon which I blew about six pumps and just tied this in a loop. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this other longer one in a loop also. Just take both ends and tie them together. So now I've got a big loop and a small loop. Okay? And this is so super easy. You're going to take both your loops together, find the midway point of both balloons at the same time, and just bring your hands together and twist everything together and that will give you butterfly wings. So for the rest of the butterfly I'm going to take this yellow balloon that I've blown up about four pumps and this is really easy also. We're just going to make a basic dog head. So a little two, balloon, two inch bubble and then two smaller one inch bubbles. And you're going to twist these two guys together just like that. And I'm going to come down about four inches or so and make a twist. And we're going to twist this into the wings right in the middle. So I'm just going to take everything, put it all together. And there you go. Now usually I cut off the tail. I don't want it to be too long. And tie that off. Alright, so that is the basic, basic butterfly. It's one of the first things that I teach people when I'm doing lessons and classes. Um, it's really easy. Most people can get it pretty quick. So let me know if you have any problems, but you should be able to do this too. Now, I was saying earlier that we can add a fourth balloon at the end of this, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to take one more balloon, and we're just going to blow it up enough for two bubbles. So I'm going to let out some air, tie it off, and we've got just this, and I'm going to twist that into two bubbles that are about the same size, okay? And now our goal here is to get the air in this bubble all the way down to the very end of our balloon. There's different ways that people do this. When I was younger, I'd actually like suck on the balloon, but no, don't do that, it's not safe. <laughs> um, one thing you can do if you're just learning how to do this, you can stretch out the tip of that balloon really well. Just give it a good couple of stretches and that will help the air want to go down there. But basically what I do is I take this bubble in my palm and I'm going to kind of fold up the rest of the balloon in my other hand and then squeeze this bubble and the air should go all the way down to the end of the balloon. Now that's something that does take a little bit of practice to learn how to get the feel for it and get it right. Um, so don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first time. So now I'm going to take the middle of this and just kind of give it a twist to keep the air from sliding back and forth. I'm going to take my butterfly head. I'm going to take the antenna right from underneath. Stretch it. The trick to this is to really stretch while you're doing this. I'm going to take the antenna, we're going to go pull them tight and push, like kind of wedge them in between our head bubbles and the friction of the balloons. 
should hold them right there in place pretty well. Okay, so that adds a whole new level to this easy butterfly. Um, people really love these antennas. So there's our finished butterfly with eyes and everything. So that is butterfly number one. It's pretty quick and simple. I do this a lot. I use this design almost every time I go make balloons somewhere. So now, let me show you how to make butterfly number two. It's very similar. This time I'm going to start with the antenna though. So since we just did that, should have it pretty fresh in your memory. So I'm gonna make, a, so I'm gonna make another antenna bubble. I'm going to cut off the nozzle, twist this into two bubbles, and get this air all the way down to the end of our balloon, and pull tight. Okay, so there's our antennas, and the thing that's different about this butterfly, I'm going to kind of twist the antennas, I'm going to pull them, and what I'm going to do is basically tie a knot here in the middle. So I'm taking this and wrapping it around my fingers. And now we've got our antennas with a knot in the middle. And we'll use that in just a second. And now we're gonna do another butterfly body. So go ahead and blow up another yellow balloon, about four pumps. So now we're gonna take our antenna and our body. And this is a new technique which I haven't shown you guys or done before in another video. It's a little advanced. So if you can't do this, don't worry, it just takes practice. But you can always stick with the other butterfly design for now. So I'm going to take my finger, my index finger, and put it on the knot of our antennas. And I'm going to also put it on the knot of our body balloon. And I'm going to stick my finger down inside the balloon. So you're actually, your finger is actually inside there. And I'm going to grab that knot with my other hand and pull my finger out, okay? And now you're going to make a nice twist right above where the knot is inside of the balloon. So we've got our antennas here. Now I'm going to do a pinch twist here with the knot down on this side. That way those antennas aren't going to come flying back out. So make a small bubble and then pinch twist that. And you can kind of see I've got that knot inside of the balloon. It's way down here and it's part of the pinch twist. So it's really, these really aren't going to go anywhere. So it's, it's good for kids because it's kind of childproof. <laughs> Unless it pops. And then I'm going to do another pinch twist. Just to even it out. facing down. Okay, so there we have our little butterfly head. And now we just need one more balloon to finish this off. And I'm going to use hot pink. And you can do different wings for this. I just like to keep everything kind of small and compact and cute. So for this butterfly, I'm going to use one balloon for all the wings. I'm going to tie a nice big circle with the balloon here, all the way blown up. And then you're going to kind of eyeball this whole balloon and take about where you think a third of it would be and make a loop. So you've got one small loop and one big loop. And just like the first butterfly, we're going to take both these loops, find the midpoint at the same time and bring them together and twist everything together just like that. So now we're going to take our butterfly head and just make about a two inch bubble here. And just like the other butterfly, you're going to twist all this together. Okay. Just arrange everything like this. Cut off the extra bottom. Okay, so there's our little butterfly. Let me show you how I put the eyes on real quick. All right, so there's the complete butterfly with the face and everything. Got some awesome antennas here, which are pretty much pull proof. Um, 
So that's it. So here's our two different styles of butterflies that we made today. I hope that you guys enjoyed making these and that you get a lot of use out of them. Uh, again, if you're not quite comfortable with this whole bit on this butterfly, you can just do the head like this one. So you've got different options here. You can pick from whichever one you like. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified every time I make a new video. Or you can click here and that will take you to a playlist of all my tutorial videos so you can spend the whole rest of the day making balloon animals with me. And as always, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down there. And thank you guys again for watching. Y'all are awesome. And I will see you next week with another balloon tutorial. Bye!